What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Showed you a WowTech flashlight slash headlamp, uh, the A2 version from WowTech, formerly A Tactical, technically supported through Through Night, and it was awesome. Absolutely loved it. But what do I have here? I have the A2S. I wanted to pick that up because we're going to take a look at what the A2S includes, which is going to be very similar from a form factor, but it's going to be more powerful. And uh, the A2S may fit your needs if the A2 was just underpowered. Now, the A2 is awesome. I loved it. It is a giveaway. Check out that video if you want to win that one because um, it's super easy. There's only a few people even eligible at this point. So if you want to get your hands on one, check out that video. And I have instructions on how to enter that giveaway which is super super easy it'll take you one second to do but i want to check out this a2s and then i also am going to compare the a2 to the a2s2 a little bit so in case you did you're you you're kind of torn now i will say that these eight these wow tack these former a tactical lamps have been awesome not only have they been awesome but they have been an awesome deal. I mean, the value is amazing. Whether it's the flashlights or the or the headlamp that I, I checked out, I've been super, super stoked about them. So <laughs> don't let that influence you, but check them out. I'll put the links to all of those, both of those ATAC product, those WowTech products in the description. We have a short, looks like almost like a one foot micro USB cable. That's to charge it up uh, because it does include a rechargeable battery, which is awesome. It has two extra O-rings in case you need that. And then here is the money itself, uh, wrapped up in a rubber band here. And let's just go ahead and kind of take a quick tour through it. Uh, you do have kind of a standard, you know, stretchy elastic headlamp. It says wow tack, wow! Uh, fully adjustable, so big noggin, small noggin, not only on the sides, but also on the top. And that helps because the headlamp, this unit itself can be a little bit heavy. You know, it's 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 all anodized aluminum, so you do have uh, a serious, like, tactical-like uh, piece of equipment up here, and so there's going to be a little pressure on your head. The 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 head uh, forehead portion here is rubber, so it's all going to be really comfortable, and you can certainly adjust that. I'm I'm not going to have any problems with that, I'm sure. And even the loops here are rubber, so it's kind of easy to get this in and out, push it in and out. But once it's in, it doesn't, it won't just fall out. There's too much friction. It really holds it in place, and it's pretty nice. And because it's round, you can adjust the angle of the flashlight or slash headlamp as you need. And you, as you know, um, sometimes if you're moving fast, you want to the the throw pretty far out. You know, say you're biking or if you're walking kind of slowly and hiking uh, in darkness, you want to kind of right at your feet, or maybe you're just trying to manipulate things. So you, it's th adjusting the angle is as simple as turning the base here, you know, or turning it up here. All right, so that's pretty nice. You're gonna be able to do that. And when I test this, I actually put them on my head. So <laughs> they work, they work. Now let's pull up the flashlight here. As you can see, it's not hard to get it out, but it will stay in there. It's kind of what the the head mount piece looks like and now we have the flashlight itself fits in my hand like this it's probably about four inches long it's weight you know it's weighty and solid but it's not overly heavy you know so uh you know it definitely feels like a, a quality piece and as you can see there it's kind of like a little periscope you know you can you can even hold it down here put your fingers down here i can get all four fingers on it and you could hold it like this or like a flashlight or like that if you want to be gangsta style now you have some cut fins in there to help cool off this wow tack uh beautiful machining um knurling very aggressive knurling right here in the middle kind of a diamond pattern and then you go all the way down here same knurling on the the butt cap you have uh knurling on the cap holding in the rubberized button up here just just like that just textured and then on the the lens side a nice sturdy probably glass lens in there this like metal alloy uh, ring holding it in you can see the LED element down there and let's take off the the bottom here and see what we have and there should be an 18650 battery and they also pack it with a little piece of cardboard so that or wax or something so that you don't actively actually have the battery running now how do you recharge the battery right there so you do have a micro USB um, port built into the battery, which is awesome. I actually love that. And then there's a little LED light right here. It might, it might be hard to see, but when you plug it in, that lights up so that you can see that it's charging or fully charged. And so you have a typical standard 
you know, 18650 battery, lithium ion rechargeable battery size, but you don't have a charging port exposed to elements. I really like that. So now that I've got the little plastic off, I can put this back in. We're gonna screw back on the, the end cap here. And now with this, boom, this little, oh man, that thing is friggin' bright. Friggin' bright, right? Um, it's amazing, actually. It's amazing that this little thing puts out kind of that much light, in my opinion. They just do such a nice job. And, you know, it's going to be maybe a little hard to see here, but as you can see, it's it's a bright, um, and I'll actually say it's a warm white. I think maybe the other one was a warm white too, but this is like a warm white light, so it's not like a bright white or a day daylight white. If we tap it, again, it goes off. Um, I think if I hold it down, we go to the next m mode. If I hold it, so looks like that the previous one was a low mode. This is the medium mode. Low, medium, brighter, low, medium, bright, low, medium, bright. Okay, um, if I double tap it, I think we get to like this turbo mode. If I double tap it again, we get to in SOS mode, okay? So those are generally the modes and how it works. I, I wanna also say what might have confused you there is what I think is when you turn it on, if you leave it on this mode and I hold it, it's just gonna to go to the next mode, right? But if I ha now I'm on the medium mode and now if I haven't done anything, I think like in three or five seconds and I hold it again down, it goes to the lowest mode. It goes down a mode, right? So let's say you wanted to go from the low mode like this to the highest mode, you'd actually have to do it pretty quickly. Hold it and keep holding it and it'll keep scrolling through the modes. You know, it'll keep scrolling up if you do it within a few seconds. But if now if I've waited here and I hold it, it's just gonna go all the way back down to the low mode. And then it's a quick, it's easy to double tap to go into this, man, this freaking bright mode. That's what I'm gonna call it, so. All right, this little Firefly mode, I think this thing will run for like 80 hours or something on this this low light mode and this, this low light mode is probably more than you'll need for uh, nine out of 10 uses, you know, or maybe the one step up, you know, because these things on high put out a crap ton of light. So let's go ahead and just turn it off here. Oops, tap it once. And let's wait for it to get dark and try it out. Now I'm gonna charge up both of the A2S and the A2 headlamp flashlights before I go outside so that we're not dealing with different power levels and have that potential inconsistency, okay? So they will both be on, uh, they will both be fully charged batteries. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, now it is night out here. I've got the A2S on my head at 1,050 lumens. It should be pretty bright. And so if we turn it on there, um, and just FYI, I've got the uh, A2, not the S, uh, in my hand. So we'll do a little comparison. But here we have, uh, I believe this is the low level. And man, big, bright pattern, right? So let's see what we can do here. If I hold it and go up, um, you know, man, this thing is pretty bright. Even on the second setting, uh, not only does it reach out pretty far, but man, it casts a wide pattern. I don't know if you can kind of see this, but, you know, I have light. It might be a little hard. Um, I can see the ground way out here to out here just based on the cast, all right? So I'm pretty impressed with that. And if we got hit it again, okay, lower, higher, and higher. And look at this, man. That is pretty freaking bright. And in fact, can you see the trees out there? I mean, um, I've shown you some bright lights and there's no focus. I can't focus the beam on these at all, but I'm lighting up like, <laughs> you know, 150 to 70 yards of trees, you know, obviously right in front of me is where it's kind of brightest, but that row of trees out there, I think you should be able to see, right? So that's pretty impressive. Normally when I'm using these high power flashlights, I'm kind of focusing on one tree and it's lighting it up pretty well. But even with this wide beam, I mean, it's just casting a lot of light. Uh, pretty impressive. Now, let's see if I double tap. Man, holy smokes, dude. That is friggin' bright. Yowzas. I mean, not only is it bright, but how wide, I mean, how much land it is illuminating is unreal. A2S, man. I can't imagine that this beam is <laughs> gonna 
um, be very power efficient, but that's pretty impressive. So let me just uh, turn it off here and let's go to the A2 and turn it on a little higher, a little higher yet. And then if I double click to that tur turbo setting, again, this is illuminating those trees out there as well, but I can tell the big difference. I mean, um, you know, it's just, it's it's casting a similar sized pattern, which I guess is what you'd expect, but it's not, you know, especially in the center, it's kind of illuminating a tree to two trees really brightly, as opposed to like the five or seven trees that the A2S was using. So, you know, either headlamp, man, you can't go wrong. Uh, these are just brilliant, brilliant devices. Now, this A2 is up for a giveaway, so go check out my full review on that and uh, make sure that you're entered because, like I said, you're going to have a really good chance of using it. But between, you know, this A2, which is under 20 bucks, I think is an unbelievable deal. Uh, and if you get um, the A2S for some real heavy duty, some real gnarly needs, uh, you won't be disappointed with that either. Wow, Tac, man, they just make some incredible stuff. Peter Von Panda, out.